Uh, Robbie, Tuesday night saw Matty Dawn make his 300th appearance for Rochdale Football Club, which is a great achievement for him, isn't it? It's a brilliant achievement. Um, obviously, over two or three spells at the club. Um, Matty's a, a fantastic professional, somebody I've got the utmost respect for. And to have that amount of games, one, it's a credit to him for being available and being professional in, in what he does in terms of um, his lifestyle, his, his work ethic. Um, but he's also a valuable member of the squad and um, a, a very good example for some of the younger players. So I'm really pleased for him on a personal note, but you know, it wasn't through sentiment, it was because he was needed on the pitch. How good is it to have characters like him around to sort of help those younger players through as well? 100%, really good. Um, you know, that was certainly my thinking, especially in the, the January transfer window to bring some a little bit more senior kind of professionals in to help us along a little bit. So Matty falls into that category. Um, and like you say, hopefully for is to the next 300 as well for him. Just looking back on Tuesday night briefly, um, you obviously had a chance to review the game since then. What are your sort of thoughts looking back after this 48 hours? A dogged, really dogged performance against a decent team who, um, you know, the players that they can attract and the finances that they've got available obviously means they're a strong, strong outfit. I felt that we defended in the main pretty well against some very good players and missed a, an absolutely glorious chance. You know, if it wasn't for an unfortunate bobble would be sat here with a 2-1 victory and everybody would be over the moon with that. So um, we'll take the positives out of it again. Um, we try something a little bit different in terms of personnel on the pitch and maybe in hindsight it wasn't quite the balance I was looking for but again the substitutes came on and, and, and helped us along and we had some tired legs, a bit of illness through the group um, earlier on in the week. And I could, I think you could see that in, in a couple of them. So they'll be, they'll be better for a little bit of a breather going into Saturday's game. Is it important to take those positives now into that game at the weekend? Hundred percent, it is. And um, you know, we, we seem to be drawing a hell of a lot of games, and we'd like to obviously win those. But it, you know, we, we feel that we're really tight in every game that we play. Um, now we, you know, we're going into a game on Saturday against a team in and around us, new manager. We'll have to make sure that our standards are, are, are top notch because um, I do genuinely believe when we put in a performance, we can and we're proving it. That's the most important. We're proving we can beat anybody, and it's just finding that level of consistency, um, making sure that the players are physically prepared, mentally and tactically right for the, for the challenge ahead. Obviously, the new manager at Leighton Orient has only had a couple of games, hasn't he? But what are your thoughts on, on them as a team? Yeah, well, the start of the season ever so well, didn't they? So they've obviously got some talent in the in the building, Richie. Um, we'll have his own ideas, we'll look at the games that Richie's took over and try and get a, an idea of what, the, what they want to do in terms of a playing style. Um, but you know, we focus on ourselves as, as much as that and make sure we're in a, in a good place. Obviously, another busy week in terms of bits and bobs, should we, should we call it, and the full focus for the players and myself will be trying to get three points on Saturday. It seems to have happened quite a few times this season where a manager's come into a club just as we're about to, to play them, hasn't it? Yeah, I guess so. I suppose that's just how it, how it falls. and um, Of course, it can it can give players and, and a bit of a lift, but it doesn't last forever. It's You can see that with some of the other appointments now. It's settled down and um, I think consistency from a football club is, is vital to, to get success. You see it all the time. and. Um, you know, that's certainly what we're, we're striving to do here because we, we feel that we're, we're building from, from scratch. Um, certainly when I came in in the summer, the, the, it, it was a, a blank canvas in, in many aspects and there's a hell of a lot of work to do, not only on the pitch but off it. And we've had challenges with that then, we've got challenges with that now. So um, we, we recognise that everybody benefits from the team winning and that's the plan certainly for Saturday and we've got another busy week haven't we, go Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday again so game's coming thick and fast and let's get some positive results. Just looking at the team, have you got any fresh sort of injury worries since the, since Tuesday night? Uh, no, just more, a couple of lads who were ill, um, just see how, they, how they've reacted. Um, Paul Downing has trained again, might come a little bit too soon, um, we'll, have to, we'll have to make a, a judgement on that but in general terms it'll be the same players available. Speaking on Thursday afternoon as we are now with the plan to sort of travel down tomorrow, train on 
the way down as you have done in the past. Yeah, that, that's exactly what we're going to do. Just try and mix the journey up and, and put a put a and you know it's obviously a fairly long trip for us. So um, we'd have to stop halfway down anyway because we'd have to give the driver his forty five minutes. <laughs> so it makes sense to to use that time as best we can and. Um, and train, we've got a, a good training venue tomorrow, so there'll be no excuses and that will be prepared.